Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick update because I have some exciting news that I wanted to share with you. As you know, I am on my third travel contract. I am in Arizona. Absolutely love it. I've learned so much in the little time um, that I've been here. And the crazy part about it is that I've noticed that it, it really makes a difference when you like and hate a place because it's so funny. I've been telling everyone, like any new person that I meet, and they're like, oh, how long have you been here? And I keep saying like, oh, I've only been here two weeks or I've only been here three weeks. And I don't know why, but I think it's because I absolutely love it that the time is just flying by and I'm not even realizing it. I've been here, I think I've been here for seven weeks now, honestly. Give me a second, I'm gonna check. Yeah, um... I just checked totally right. It has been seven weeks that I've been at this hospital and it just blows my mind because it doesn't even feel like it's been seven weeks, but that's because I absolutely love it. And um, I've learned so much in the little time that I've been here, which is crazy to me, but because it is, um, it's actually a level four trauma center. Um, they're not supposed to get traumas. Well, not that big traumas, but um, because everything gets flown out but because it's the only hospital in a three hour um distance to the next the nearest trauma center um everything comes there stabilize and then we ship them out so um it's been so freaking interesting the cases that i have the cases that i've experienced here like i've worked in a trauma center before um I did 13 weeks in a trauma center and there were a lot of traumas. There were car accidents, accidents where like limbs are literally hanging by a thread, like some serious ass traumas come into that center. But with this one, it's just like, oh my God, you never know what's going to come through. Um, I've had people come in for gunshot wounds and these are like, not just like, because I've had people come in for gunshot. Yeah, but like like shot in the neck and having normal conversations like that shit didn't just happen. <laughs> like it was just it's it's been a wild wild ride so far. So I'm um, I'm excited to continue to explore and learn. Um I've decided honestly guys that I'm not going to be picking up extra shifts at the hospital. I've come to the realization personally for myself that um, I want to enjoy life while I can. So on my days off, I've been taking trips. Um, I've been to New Orleans. I went to Payson, Arizona. Never been. It is so beautiful. Um, so cool. And it's just different from other parts of um, Arizona just because it's like in the mountains um a lot more trees and it's 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 just a lot it's like very in the woods compared to the other parts of arizona um i've been to phoenix arizona sedona yuma um i've just been traveling honestly on my days off i've been to palm springs california i'm going to um uh this other part of california in the middle of june because I have my schedule up until June 18th. So I've just been planning trips out as far as like my days off. If I have three days off, I'm out. <laughs> like I am not staying where I am, I'm going somewhere. And even I've even had like a two day trip. Um, if it's not a too far drive, I've been going. So um, Capistrano Beach, California. I'm gonna go there in June. I wanna go to LA, I wanna go to San Francisco. Um, you know, I've been to, I, I go to, um, Vegas every single year for my birthday. It's just been a tradition. Um, so might end up going to Vegas at some point. Um, and the another exciting news that I have other than I extended my contract for an additional 13 weeks. So I'll be actually at this hospital until October. But right as this contract ends, because I'm trying to honestly like 
end a contract start a contract i don't want any space in between i am requesting for vacation time during the contract but i'm not trying to um take time off between contracts so i'm just jumping from one job to the next my next location is gonna be california so as i end this job i'm going straight to california um i've already applied for my license it does take a few weeks but the one good thing that i wanted to say about aya is that they pay for your um for your license all you have to do is pretty much fill out the forms um and then send the information to them they pay for it and then you go through the fingerprinting process background check and everything so i'm super excited about that i'm definitely trying to take the opportunity to travel as much as i can i'm what i keep reminding myself is i'm young and i don't have kids right now so i i want to take advantage of the free time that i have and um I just want to travel. I've always wanted to travel. That is the main reason why I wanted to do travel nursing is to explore all these different um, places, see what it's like to live there and work there. And maybe I'll just find a place that I definitely want to like move to because honestly, I'm originally from Maryland. Um, I've lived in Maryland and Pennsylvania, but I don't want to go back. So, um, I still have an apartment in Maryland. Um, I had an apartment in Pennsylvania and in Maryland. I ended my lease in Pennsylvania, so I'm only located in Maryland for um, for my everyday, like all my stuff is there. But as far as like actually going home, I'm only going home to visit family. And then I'm spending the entire year traveling. That is my plan, at least, um, God's willing. So I just wanted to update you guys. I'm so excited about actually like really doing this travel nursing thing. Like I originally didn't even want to extend contracts because I was like, if I'm really gonna debt commit to this travel nursing, I really need to just like, like go to a place 13 weeks go to a next one but i really love this hospital i love the people i work with um it's such a good team and because i really like it i figured why not there's still so many places in arizona that i really want to travel and california is right next door so i'm going to travel to california so um i'm just going to take an opportunity to get settled for six months here and then explore and that way i'm gonna just travel to california and see which part of california i want to work and then i'll pick the location come october but i'm super excited wanted to keep you guys in the loop um if you have any questions just leave a comment below but yeah like guys this travel nursing is pretty pretty awesome i definitely recommend it um and even if you have a family i would say like take them with you like why the hell not at the end of the day you're getting paid like i continue to say it three times more if not more honestly if you're on a crisis contract but regardless i'm getting three times more what i was getting paid as a staff nurse there's no way i will go back no way not happening so <laughs> just wanted you guys to stay updated um i will be making another video soon just because i am trying as much as possible to keep you guys in the loop of my actual traveling because i want you guys to to see that i'm actually taking the opportunity to do these little mini trips in between my contracts because that's the whole great thing about being travel nurses that you have you get the opportunity to travel while working so um i want to keep updating you guys on these mini clips of my little travel vacations but um I will see you guys in the next video. If you have any questions, leave them below and I'll try to cover other like aspects of travel nursing as much as I can. Thank you and have a wonderful blessed day.